All right, what's going on, you fam? Reviewed in here. So we got the data download, and in game we can now take a look at the full kit of the yellow full power Frieza and his much anticipated Zenkai Awakening, alongside a lot of new goodies that we, I guess, we sort of expected it to be alongside him. But anyways, this is what he looks like before. Now with the Zenkai Awakening. Jesus Christ! They gave this dude a massive stat bump especially for his defenses that's like i love super saiyan 3 level in terms of overall defenses now let's see what they changed blue card is still major slice still kills endurance 100 percent effect for bleed that's great green card it looks like it's still the same in terms of what you can combo with it um we were actually hoping that maybe his green card would change so that you can combo strike and blast cards but being blue cards is fine. Uh, I mean, it's LOE. You're probably going to be getting a bajillion blue cards regardless. So that's that's no problem. Main ability. What changed? You draw a blue card. You restore 50 key. 50% to blast damage. Sorry, 40 key. 50% to blast damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. And 100% to the blue card damage. All right. How does that differ from what it was before? Just the key restoration. Okay. That's nice. The 40 key restoration is very helpful. His Zenkai ability is yellow LOE. Not gonna lie, I was hoping it would be yellow powerful opponent just to give it a little bit of longevity because all the LOE characters, or 99.9% .9 of them, pretty much fit on the powerful opponent tag anyways. So it would have been pretty damn nice. Uh, first ability applies the following effects when he enters the battlefield. Restores 50 key. 50% of damage inflicted for 15 timer counts with a minus 20 to special move cost. How does that differ from before? 50 key, 50% 50 of damage inflicted, and minus 20. It looks like what changed is the duration. It is now 5 timer counts longer. Okay. Second passive, reduce damage received by 50% until combo ends. And reduce enemy key by 40 when changing cover. And now he uh, well, he always had the insurance, but I think the, the amount he healed has gone up, right? Yeah, now it's 30% versus the 20, and they drop the plus two sub count penalty when you swap in with the Frieza. I will take that. Now, I really hope one of his passives made him go type neutral in terms of receiving damage, just like how Bardock works. Um, we got so many characters that could counter out yellow, AKA the Goku and Vegeta. It would be nice to see him get, uh, you know, type neutral. Defensive units need to be powered up versus how strong offensive units are. His third passive, which is new, applies the follow effects to self when the battle starts. 15% damage inflicted, a 10% reduced damage received passive, plus a 50% key recovery buff. That's good. Between the LFRs are giving him uh, key recovery anyways, you're going to be pretty much certain that you're going to have all the key you need in order to throw out a bajillion blue cards. So that's good. 15% damage inflicted and 10% reduced damage received seems a little bit low. I know he's meant to be a defensive unit, but I, I would have liked to see more but at least we know that's a 60 percent reduced damage received when he comes in on cover cut so maybe i shouldn't be complaining but uh we'll have to see next passive 15 percent to damage inflicted against saiyans cannot be cancelled and applies the following effects to the enemy every time he's facing one minus 20 percent to health restoration and a plus five to special move arts cost i swear this just screams Goku and Vegeta counter, does it not? All these units coming out with a health restoration debuff, it just feels like they're trying to counter out Goku and Vegeta because they heal for every card that they use. That's what it feels like right now. But overall, um, his new passives are certainly helpful. Saiyans are dominating the meta. Uh, the extra damage against them is helpful. 15% sure is nice. Uh, I would have I preferred if it was higher, not gonna lie. The only other damage inflicted buff he has is this, and it only lasts 15 timer counts. Would it really have killed them to make it say 30 or 40 percent damage inflicted and maybe even 15 to 20 percent reduced damage received i don't think so i guess they really just designed this guy to be that sure shot blue card dude i guess that's what it's that's what he's supposed to be I don't, i'm not really sure uh, it seems uh i don't want to say a mild zenkai but it certainly feels like it's uh they they sort of held back on it but we'll have to see now paired alongside with this guy is a new event exclusive android 21 so if we go ahead and pop the event exclusive tag that we navigate all the way to the bottom we got this android 21 red range type which is actually good i think androids needed a new red unit 
Ta-da, here you go. Never seen her kit, so this is going to be a first for me. Let's go ahead and max her out because she is going to be farmable. And in terms of offenses and defenses, not bad. She gives a strike and a... Oh, God, a paralysis blast card. Uh-oh. Just when you thought Super 17 was bad enough. Here you go, boys. Standard strike, blast card, apply attribute upgrade, minus 20% to enemy sustained damage cut effects. That's cool. She does the Kamehameha. Look... Why does her blue card have the massive impact multiplier, but this Zenkai um, Frieza still has major slice damage? Why are they hiding? Why are they holding back the Zenkai for a much needed tag? And then she gets the massive multiplier. Sometimes those things really confuse me. You would think that that guy would get the massive buff for his blue card, but no, it's the free character here. So massive impact. 20% to blue card damage for three timer counts when she uses it. That's great. Increases own Dragon Balls by one on hit. What the hell is this? She gets two Dragon Balls if she lands two blue cards. That is new. I've never seen that before, but I really hope her blue card is a long animation for that reason. Her green card, draw a blast card, changes her strike cards to blast cards, restore 40 key, 20% to damage inflicted. That's quite nice. It's not even one of those things where you gotta land it. She just stands there and goes, ah! And then you get the buff. Main ability, draw a blue card, restore own health by 25% and key by 30 and a 30% damage buff. That's great. Z ability is android or regen, blast attack and defense. But if you are android and regen, you get a little bit extra. She's not going to be buffing the event exclusive tag. That's interesting. I, I was under the impression they refactored all those characters to buff that Z ability. Okay. First passive applies the following effects to self when she enters the battlefield. 80% to damage inflicted. 30% to dam blast damage inflicted. Reduced damage received by 40% for 15 timer counts. This is a free character and she has 40% reduced damage received. What is this? Randomly destroy one enemy card. Plus 30% to damage inflicted when causing a character with a revive to trigger. That's nice. Free character having an anti-revive. Even if it's only a damage buff, that's still nice. Um, I wonder if it can be cancelled, though. It doesn't mention anywhere that it cannot be cancelled, so that would stink. Gochita would instantly swap that away. But th just her first passive, she seems really good. Why does she have such high damage inflicted buffs, but the Frieza doesn't? Again, it doesn't make any sense to me. You would think that the Frieza would get it. I don't know. I guess they're really hoping that you run him with the uh, LF first form Frieza and some other LOE character that supplies buffs. Because those guys have pretty good support. Second passive. The following effects occur every time when faced with an enemy. Restore 30 key, minus 5 to blast card, and blue card cost for 10 timer counts. All enemies hit with a minus 30% to health restoration debuff. What do you know? Look at that anti-Goku and Vegeta passive right there. Seal enemy strike cross strike arts when changing cover. Sealed cards cannot be used for five timer counts. So if you're fighting Regen with her and Fat Boo, good luck. You're not you're not using a goddamn card. And if your opponent has a blast card counter like purple cell, then that good luck. Have fun. Overall, she seems cool. Uh, she seems good. Really good. That's the impression I'm getting. 110% damage inflicted if you're using Blast. Blue card, I mean, her main ability is going to give another 30, so up to 140% Blast damage. Getting two Dragon Balls from her blue cards doesn't make any sense to me. Her green card, for some reason, is, is cracked out. 40 key, 20% damage inflicted, and turn everything to her Forte Blast card and draw a card. That's, that's a pretty stacked green card. So she seems good. Androids definitely needed a new red, so this is nice. I'm not going to be looking forward to dealing with the paralysis crap, but uh, it is what it is. That's what happens. Now, there's more stuff. Just when you thought that was it. It turns out there is also a platinum equipment for... Da -da -da -da, for Saiyan Saga. If we can go ahead and find this thing. Uh, da -da -da -da, what category is it? Ah, whatever. We're going to do... We're going to go through this the hard way. There's a new Platinum equipment for... No, it's Saiyan Saga, I believe. Let me see if I can find it. We see good old Frieza fighting Goku. And you guys can pitifully see all the Platinum equipments I don't have. This bad boy right here. Now this... Is kind of crazy. This is one of the few Platinum equipments that give... A max HP buff. 
double defense. Those two things alone already made it really fantastic, but the blast attack is certainly helpful. Um, Namagoku is definitely eating well. The LF full power freeze is definitely eating well, and the yellow one as well. You're looking at a lot of units that really benefit from having more health, double defense, and their forte main damage stacking attack. S not stacking, just their main attack. So that's good. Yeah, so we're going to be getting a new gauntlet for the Frieza, of course, with all the Zenkai weakenings. And speaking of Zenkai, it turns out that they have a new Zenkai Ultra Space Time Rush event. It seems to be a, a, a subset version of what it was before. It seems they've just shortened it. It looks like it's not as difficult as before. It seems like there are easier battles for this one. You have a new raid event going up against the Super Saiyan Goku, the event exclusive one, which is cool, the one with the fire art. So, all in all, lots of CC. But I think that pretty much captures everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. What are you most excited for? Let me know in the comment section below. Be on the lookout for those showcases. And until next time, peace.